Hey guys, welcome back to another What CKC Wants video. I'm CKC, aka Nikki, and this one is for all my new people who bought the Cricut Maker. Like, welcome to the fam, welcome to the family. So, you will experience intimidation and you won't know where to begin when you download the Cricut software. I hope this video will help you on your journey to cricketing. So as you know, this is our welcome homepage and we're gonna start on a new project. And you have a blank canvas. So this is your canvas that is blank and you will, here, upload is where you upload your designs that you downloaded from Design Space or, um, I'm sorry, Design Bundles or anywhere you downloaded it. These are the files that are supported in the Cricut. You go to Browse, you go to your computer files, and you will find the one that you need. I will start with my fairy tale one and when you uploaded chances are one of your files was a one of these and you have to clean it up and you want to select your image type to be complex because you want to clean your image you want to be able to remove the background and stuff like that so you click on complex continue and now this is a section where you will remove the white background or let's say you download a picture, you want to erase the person that's there. So you're going to select your three tools. You can select and erase a magic wand basically. You have your erase. These are the adjustments of the size to make the eraser bigger. A smaller smaller of course will be for the tighter sections that is there crop is to trim away any unwanted area so basically when you select this area that's the only area that will be shown in this but because my image is fairly simple one I'm just gonna click on select and race I call it a magic wand. I click and it does the work for me. Boom. That's that. Now, if you think it took everything, always double check on the bottom section where it says preview. And you see that it has some sections that I have to clean up. So I'm going to zoom in. And this is your zoom out. This is your redo, and this is your undo. And I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to go on my race. And pretty much now, go on my preview. And just go close to the grain, to the black line. And just erase you can keep checking that you're getting a section so I will just outline as close as possible of course on the outside and I'll stop right there and then once you finish cleaning up we're going to go to continue this shows you your image. You can either cut your image, so this will be the image that would be cut on your vinyl, and then print, then cut is basically, for example, your stickers that you will make. So if you wanna make mixed stickers on your design space, you will print your image, and then you will go back and cut it out. But that's for a whole nother video. So for now, I'm gonna to go to cut, I'm going to name it, add tags to it, 
just for like, you know, when I want to look for it, I have like key things. And you go to upload. At the upload, you will see all your recent uploads. Select it and you add to canvas. And that's it, people. This is how you upload an image onto Design Space. I hope this helped. Um, see you in the next video. Bye, guys.